Hey everybody, today is going to be one big hack job. Now Matthias, John and Steve have already done fan fixing and tuning videos. This is not a tune-up video. This fan sat in my son's room, got knocked off the table, landed on the back, and here we go. This back section here totally busted, and this is the motor mount. So here, I've taken off the front already. So it's not supposed to do that. And my first thought was, is like, well, buy a new fan, buddy. But uh, we just sat on it for a while, and I got to thinking that, well, first of all, you know, it's 30, 40 bucks. Let's uh, try to save that money if we can. And uh, as I took a look at the back, I got to thinking that, you know, the basic structure of the fan is still in one piece, and there's a lot of strength in the, in circles and uh, uh, which is really what you've got here. Is you got all these little pieces. And so I wondered if I could just cut out this back here and then fit in a circular piece of plywood that I would then screw in and uh, see if it'll work. Uh, spoiler alert, if it doesn't work I'm probably not going to put it on YouTube. So let's get to work. So let's have a close up at the situation. Here's the back of the fan and you can see how it's broken all along there. There are in here there are some motor mounts, some standoffs, so I'm going to have to work something like that to sort of lift it away from the back of whatever plywood mount I come up with, but really a couple of brackets should be not that hard to fabricate. So I think the first thing we need to do is let's take this switch off and we're going to have to pull the fan right out of there because we really need to have some space to work in. So. Okay, we are committed. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. A little bit of sanding, a little bit of finickiness, and uh, I think we've got a bat. Now the next thing will be to work on, how's the motor going to mount? Aha, uh -huh. there. That's the motor mount. Now this thing just has a couple of little posts, but uh, I could probably just use a piece of plywood instead and then screw into the edge of that. Okay, so I need a, still need a hole down in here so that I can feed the power cable through. The last hole I went through the middle, but I don't want to cut the cord, so I'm going to put a hole right along the edge here so that I can just tuck it right in there. And we're almost done, but I'm going to drill some holes in the back here to let some more air through. I So compare that, compare that with what it's replacing. It's replacing this sort of, it's got a similar amount of opening and the middle section was blocked off on the other piece. So what's the next day? I took this out to the garage last night and spray painted it and I thought I would just let it dry fully and off gas overnight. And now we should be able to put it all back together and have a working fan. This would have been a lot easier if I had uh, managed to get the blade off this motor, but I can work around it.
And there we have it. I don't know that these holes in the back are necessary. And I think that's about it. Now I realize unless you have this exact fan with this exact same failure, this uh, video is not going to be that much use to you, but I hope it's illustrated that, you know, with a little bit of ingenuity and uh, willingness to try things out, you could uh, maybe fix some of those unfixable items. They don't have to be thrown out always. And, uh, and that's about that, so uh, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. You know, I guess I should turn the camera off when I'm finished.